Welcome back to the table. We have another round one. It's me and Alicia, my wife. That's me. Yes, and we are playing Earth today. This is the newest one from Inside Up Games, and it is a little like Wingspan, a little less maybe like Terraforming Mars. Those are the two comparisons we're hearing and having played it, I think. We'd I would agree. agree. I would completely agree with both. I definitely get the Terraforming Mars. Uh, there's only probably a handful of games that I've played more than once in my life, and Terraforming Mars <laughs> and Wingspan are, are two of them. of them. And this is a lot like both. Yeah, this has got a very significant nature theme, obviously, since it's called Earth. But there's going to be animals, there's going to be uh, islands, there's going to be climates, there's going to be ecosystems. And the game has us building out a 4x4 four four grid of cards, which is our tableau. We're going to be planting cards into that. The game is going to be triggered when a player has placed their last card in that tableau, and then everyone has equal turns. We're gonna get right to the gameplay, but we do want to talk a little bit about what we have going on right here. Uh, as you can see here, and we've got things kind of scrunched up a little bit, uh, just so that it fits on the camera. But up here we have the flora and fauna board. Yeah. Uh, the fauna cards are the brown ones, and the flora, if you will, are these ecosystems cards here. But the, the fauna cards are gonna be and, uh, or during the game scoring, right? Well, this whole board here is sort of a community board. Yes. So this is mine, this is yours, this is the community board. Yeah, the community board has the fauna cards, which are scoring cards during the game, and Alicia's gonna explain those in a second. And it has some end of game scoring cards, which are the ecosystem cards. I will explain those, but those are end of game. And then on our player boards, we've got a few different things going on, but we each have our own ecosystem card, which is our own personal end of the game scoring. And then a couple other cards, an island and a climate, yep. as well as across the top of our player boards are the four actions you can take in the game. So I'm gonna describe that really quick, then we'll talk about those cards, and then we'll get right into the play. So the four actions you're gonna take are either planting, planting. composting, watering, or growing. Now, when you take these actions, the cool thing about this is this is one of those games where whoever the active player is chooses the thing, like say planting, and then I get kind of the juicy version of that action, and all the other players at the table kind of get a lighter version of that action. And then after that, uh, we're gonna fire off all the cards in our tableau and the cards on our player boards that have specific abilities on them. For instance, any planting abilities. If I did the composting, you'd fire off any composting or the multicolored ones. Right. And then the same with watering, watering abilities and uh, growing abilities. Right. And we'll explain what each of these things do more specifically as we play, but that's the general flow of the game. Someone's gonna choose an action, everyone's gonna do a thing, so it keeps everyone pretty engaged. Right. Uh, and then the next player goes, and you keep going back and forth like that until someone has 16 cards in their board. Yeah. Um, so let's get back to this communal board. These fauna cards are gonna be things, like I said, achievements, if you will, that you can score during the game. So what do we have going there? So we've got we've got bison, giraffes, marmonts, and... Uh, echidnas. 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 That's the I've one. Never <laughs> seen, I've never met an echidna. I mean, uh, but it's, it's, it's a very friend of the porcupine, it I think. A, <laughs> it does look like porcupine-esque. Sure. So for bison, you get um, if you have plus four or more plants, each with six uh, cube slots. So this here indicates cube slots. So if you've got four or more plants in your tableau that have six or more cube slots, not necessarily cubes, but slots, then you achieve that and then you would place your marker here, here for 15 or 11, and then depending on how many people you have playing in the game. Giraffes, you've got uh, two or more columns in your tableau. So seemingly we're not gonna be building in rows, we're gonna be building in columns first to try to get these easy 15 or 11 points for ourselves. The marmots, you get uh, six or more plants, each with four plant cubes. Yeah. So unlike the bison, where you just have cube slots, this is gonna require four or more cubes on the plant in order for it to qualify. So for the uh, echidnas, echidnas, cheese <laughs> Louise, echidnas, you, if you have six or more cards with the compost, the red compost ability, then you would go ahead and you would score those points too. Yeah, and some of that probably makes a little more sense than if you hadn't already seen maybe some plant cards, it would make a little more sense. Sure. And you'll see that as we play. But just to give you an idea, and I'll probably put up a plant card right now, 
there's a little bit of information on all the plant cards. Across the very top right, you're gonna see the habitats. These are effectively like tags in any other game. They're gonna fire off on other cards. You might have cards that score you points for certain habitats on the rest of your cards, things right. like that. Then you're also gonna have the cost of the card in soil. So when mm -hmm. you play a card into your tableau, it's going to generally always cost a, soil. Yeah, some sort of cost. Soil yeah. is, and these components, by the way, are prototypes, so they'll probably be changing. And you'll store these here on your board. But you'll be spending the soil to play cards into your tableau. And mm -hmm. when you play a card into your tableau, you can play the first card anywhere in that 16 by, or that four by four grid. Right. But then every other card has to be played adjacent to a card that's already been played. And adjacency is both orthogonal and diagonal. So it does give you a fair amount of freedom. And there may be reasons for sort of shifting your cards around, not moving a card space, uh, in a certain space, but you can kind of shift them one way or the other because there's going to be scoring cards, as you already found out, that, going, that are going to score based on positional aspects of the cards in your tableau, not to mention when you fire off all those abilities that we've talked about, uh, you're gonna wanna fire those off in a good order so that they build off of each other and they right. synergize with one because another. Because you have to fire off here, then here, or here, then here, but then also from top to bottom, left to right. Yeah, in your tableau, it's a very specific order that you fire these things off. So some it'll make more sense once we start playing. Uh, but back to the plant card, you're also going to have on the uh, right side, uh, sort of the upper right, if you will, the growth section. And this is where we're going to be putting some of these pieces. So whenever we grow on a plant, you can put sort of the, tr the stem or the trunk up to its size. And then the last piece is always this little canopy piece that you put on top. And then, then that card's done growing. Those are going to be some points. Uh, per piece at the end of the game, unless you have the canopy, then you're going to score maybe, maybe a bonus point or two. And then finally, there's going to be, like we said, some of those slots or those plant spaces down on the bottom of some of the cards. Uh, and when you do watering, you're going to be able to take those plant cubes, put those on. Again, more opportunity to score points. Again, you, you saw this card example. I covered most of what's on it, but you'll see even more of that once we start playing. Yeah. Now, back up to the communal board here. Uh, the environmental or the ecosystem cards are, we have Reunion Island and the Great Plains. Now, Reunion Island is going to give us, at the end of the game, five points for every two cards, each of which having two different ability colors. So we already talked about, you know, a card like this, which wouldn't normally be in your tableau. But the ability colors down here, if you have two different ones, which some of the cards do, that's going to count towards achieving those points. And then this one is very straightforward get two points for every soil left in your reserve. Now, we've played this game once before. Neither of us finished the game with a lot of soil no. in our reserve. You're using soil quite a bit. So you can get up to a max of 20 points there. So if you have 10 soil at the end of the game, you're going to get 20 points. Seems like some solid and easy points to get. Yeah, easy points potentially if we can get that soil. Um, but it raises an interesting point. This game is incredibly variable. I mean, we've just changed. We kept some of the cards from our first game, but we changed some of them out. Um, and we can already tell how this is going to sort of adjust how we're playing the game. For sure. Um, now, those ecosystem cards up there are just like the ecosystem cards that we have on our player boards, but they are different. Um, my ecosystem is Windy Impenetrable Forest, and it is two points per canopy. So. My engine's going to be, or my scoring engine's going to benefit from doing a lot of growing. Grow, so yeah. if I can grow and get these little canopy pieces on top, I'm going to get some more points there. What is yours? Mine is the Australian Temperate Forest. So I'm going to get six points per two plants, each with six uh, plant slots, or I'm sorry, cube slots. Yeah, cube slots. So she doesn't have to have the plant cubes, but as long as she's choosing plants to put in her tableau that have at least six spaces for plant cubes. Yeah, so this She's good. seemingly plays pretty well with the bison, so... Yeah, there's good I synergy might, there, for sure. For sure, so it seems like I might try to collect as much as I can of those because that's gonna give me some double benefits because this is personal to me, that's personal to you, and this is an us thing. Yeah, exactly. Now, like I said earlier, in addition to the ecosystem cards, we each have an island and a climate. Mm. My island is Luzon Island. Now, the island card does a few things. One, it has some base scoring points that you're going to get at the end of the game. Mine has 10 points at the end of the game, which what? is pretty, pretty what? good points. Oh, 10 you're... points at the end of the game. However, 
the island card also tells you what your starting resources are. So mm. this tells me how many cards I'm going to drop at the beginning of the game, how many of those I have to get rid of or put in my compost pile, and then how much soil I'm going to start with. So Luzon Island gives me six cards, but then I have to compost four of them. Composting we haven't talked about, but it's different than discarding. When you compost, you're going to put it face down in your compost pile. Those cards are each going to be worth one point at the end of the game. It doesn't really matter what's on the front of those cards or the face of them. You're just going to stack up a pile here. Those will also potentially be used as a currency for some of your cards. Some of them might say, get rid of a compost card to get some stuff. So a lot of things are going to go back and forth between your player area and sort of the communal area. Mm. Uh, and then additionally, I'm going to get four soil to start with. My climate is going to give me sort of an ongoing ability that's going to fire off. Mine, in this case, is a compost ability. So every time we're firing off our compost abilities, I'm going to be able to, just like I said, spend one of my composted cards to get three plant cubes. And whenever you get plant cubes, whenever you get growth, you're going to put them on whatever cards you want to. You don't have to specifically put them on the card that did the ability or anything like that. You can just take them and put them on. Um, but you're also going to be spending plant cubes and potentially spending growth off of those same cards. Yeah, everything is seemingly currency yes, in some way. Yes, exactly. It's a give and take, and you, it's up to you to build an engine that kind of uses all those things and, and times it right. What's yeah. your island? So I got Lombok Island, which I'm going to get five cards to start. I only have to compost one. Oh, well, you have a lot more cards. I know. Then. And then I got four soil. But my ongoing, I have an ongoing green ability. So anytime I plant, I'm going to get two growth pieces per wet habitat that I play that turn. So I have a, this added incentive to play wet habitat cards. And then my climate is a dry winter subtropical highland climate. And also similar to David has a compost ability where I get to play, oh. I can spend one compost card and then I get two soil. Yeah, that's not bad. Getting soil off your active turn, we found is pretty good because mm. then it comes back to you and you can plant. You have more soil to do so. Right. Uh, by the way, mine was tundra. I don't know if I mentioned that, but you my didn't. climate is tundra. Um, and then we have one space that we haven't talked about here on the player board, and that is the event space. There are going to be cards that we get out of the earth deck. There are three types. Plant cards, event cards, mm -hmm. and terrain cards. Yeah. The event cards just get played, and interestingly enough, event cards can be played literally any time from when the game starts to when the game ends, whether it's your turn or not, and even in the middle of activating some things. So if you're able to use an event in the midst of some uh, activations, you can do so if it benefits you. Um, and then the compost pile, of course. And then a little reminder right here that whenever we want, we can spend three plant cubes off of our tableau plants to get two soil. You can't do that with cubes that you're getting on your turn. So yeah. you have to be able to do it beforehand with cubes that you already had. But we used that a couple times when we were playing the other day, and it, it's definitely beneficial in a pinch. And you can always get those plant cubes back, hopefully, if you have some yeah. ability to do Tons so. Tons of resource management, yeah, for sure. A lot of resource management. And then the last thing, there's a bunch of icons in this game. Do not be scared because each player board has a list of all the icons and the relevant differentiation between, say, plant cubes and plant spaces. Right. So if you just look at the bottom of your board, you'll be able to follow along very, very easily. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, Alicia, would you like to go first? I Yeah, let's So do before that. we get going, we have to take our starting resources. So you take your five I get, cards. I get my five and my four, so I'm going to go one. And I get six and have three, to compost four. Four, five. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my four soil and put them right here. And by the way, I do. we do have um, two stacks here to draw from. You can only have, you, you, you could use one, but it is a really tall stack, so I just decided to split it. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, uh, but right. we did that no for simplicity's cheating. sake. No cheating, David. I won't cheat if okay. you don't. Okay, no so promises. now we have to compost some cards. I have to compost have, four of I these. I have to compost one, so hold up a minute. So, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get, I have, a, I have a pretty good variety. This is different than what I had the other night though, because I started off with Ooh. a little bit different cards. Um, I've got to get rid, uh, I'm gonna take that although, one. That's a that's a and sweet little ability. So yeah, one. going through these cards and looking at all of their abilities, you're just like, 
Oof. Do I want to get rid of that? Because that seems like a really sweet ability. Mm. I'm keeping these two. I'm going to discard this one. Well, you compost it. Uh, oh, that's right. So at the beginning, you compost these cards. So those are just points. So like we said, the bad news, I only start with two, but four of those cards went straight into my compost, which is kind of nice. Yeah. So I've got four points, you've got two points, but I only have two cards. Oh, right. And then, did you take your soil? I did, I got my four soil. You get, I get also four, four soil. I well, which isn't a lot. It's not terrible, not some terrible. Some of these cards cost, I've seen some cards cost as much as like 12 soil. So okay. What are you gonna do uh, as your first action? Oof. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant. Plant? Yeah, because I think that sounds like I'm gonna get some stuff out. So as the active player, what do you do when you plant? So I will get the bottom ability, so I get to draw two, I'm sorry, I get to play at least two, and then I can draw four and then select one, discarding the other three. And then while she does this, simultaneously, everyone else at the table can do the lighter version, which is, to plant or place one. one card only in your and tableau. And then you can draw one. And then they just draw one, so I don't right. get to select Not terrible, one. not, not terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the planting. What stinks is that I'm kind of resource poor. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna be able to play the one and I'm just gonna put it in the middle here because I'm not committing to a space yet. <laughs> I'm going to pay my four resources because it's got the four soil as a cost. How are you gonna play another? You probably can't. I cannot play. because I don't have any soil. So, yeah, so I just she's really wanted to get this guy out. Uh, and I can only play one. So I'm actually going to play this card right here. And I'm just gonna play it here in the top left of my section. Um, I'm playing the da uh, Dahlias. Uh, it's going to cost zero soil, but it's worth zero points at the end of the game. So each plant has a base point cost. Yeah. Um, but its ability, if I use a yellow action, I'll be firing off this, which lets one. me get plus one growth on every bush type of plant in this column. Growth piece. Yeah, a growth piece. Yeah. So, yeah, mine... Will fire off during compost? Yeah, so I'll be able to spend two growth pieces to get four soil. So, kind of nice if I can get a good growth engine to let me go ahead and do an exchange for some soil for future planting. Yeah, and this is a great thing to point out. That card she just pl placed, placement is very important because as you build your tableau, that one requires her to have some growth pieces to spend. Now, later in the game, we'll have growth pieces all over our uh, tableau. But as you're getting to that point, she's gonna wanna have cards ahead of that in her tableau right. that they, maybe create growth pieces that she can then spend. Then spend later. So then I have sort of a neutral effect and I'm not losing resources. And you drew your four and kept one? I did not. Well, draw four and keep one. Oof. And I just get to draw one. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm just gonna draw one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And it should be pointed out, the cards in this game are all unique. And I don't. there's like maybe 200 and some cards here. All of them are unique. Now, some of them might have the same abilities, but I can tell you this, in our play, I don't think I had any cards in my, I had maybe two cards in my whole tableau that had the same ability. But even if they have the same ability, they've got different other things going on. They're either worth different uh, points or they have different amount of growth spaces that you can grow on. You got one that you're gonna keep? Don't look. I'm not looking. You were looking. I will, hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this this guy, and I'm gonna discard these. Yeah, so those do get discarded when you're taking the planned action. Yeah. Now, we've all taken the actions. Now we fire off all of our planting abilities. I don't have any. I do. But you have one. I do, so I get plus two growth pieces oh. for every wet habitat I played, and guess what? I have you a did. wet habitat. So I get two growth pieces that I get to put on to this card. Yeah, and the growth pieces, it's gonna be hard to, to understand what that looks like from the top-down camera. Uh, so I'll, I'll shoot up a picture right now. But you actually grow this so it looks like a little tree and it kind of stacks up. And amazingly enough, they don't, we, we played the full game and I don't think we had one situation we where anything got knocked down. We even thought bumping we might, the table or anything yeah. like that. 
Um, they don't grow too tall. So you had one there in your eight. first game that was like pretty tall. That's pretty tall. Which was pretty cool. Uh, so we fired off all of our green abilities. Now it is my turn to take an action. So I, I, oh God, I kind of want to, I kind of want to plant another thing. Um, no, David, because I'm resource poor. Stop. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually <laughs> going to, I'm going to um, grow. Ooh. So I'm going to use the yellow ability, which is kind of my thing. Um, and I'll, this will be interesting. So I get to draw four cards just straight up and keep four cards. And I get two growth pieces. So That's nice. I'm going to draw four cards. Okay. One, two. I'm going to take a variety. Three, four. Okay. Um, and, and you can draw. I can either draw two or get two oh, growth yeah. pieces. So I yeah, can't hurts. split between. If I take the growth pieces, I'll be wasting a piece because I'm maxed out at three for my card here. So I think drawing some cards and giving myself some variety is going to be that's, the way I go. That's probably the way to go. Um, but I get to do both. So Ooh. I drew four cards and I get two growth pieces. Uh, and my dahlias can take a total of three. So I'm going to place those there. And then... Uh, we get to fire off yellow abilities. You don't have any, right? Boo! So I will explain this, and it's unique. I kind of wasted this a little bit, but my first yellow ability on my player board is to plus two plant cubes if I chose the yellow action. So when I take the yellow action, I just get two plant cubes, which is awesome. Bad news, this plant doesn't have any space for plant cubes. So no. if you don't have space for plant cubes, you're not taking plant cubes. So. I didn't get those, but I did get four cards in my hand. And then I fire off this ability, plus one growth pieces on each bush in this column. The dahlias is a bush, so I get another growth piece. And since this is a three, the third piece is the canopy. I had my first canopy, which is going to give me two points at the end of the game. Stupid. I'm well on my way. Mm. So that was my turn. Fine. Fine. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. I think I need to get some soil because otherwise I'm going to play none of these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the compost ability. So that's for me. And so because I chose it, I get five Ooh. and then I get to compost two from the deck rather than two from my hand. So I, go, I get five here so I can spend on future. And, and I can choose either two soil or to compost two from the deck. And I'm going to take the soil because I just want soil to be able to plant some cards. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the two that I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and take from here rather than off the top so that we aren't burning through these cards because they're already discarded. Yeah, the rules say that when you um, compost from the deck, uh, you're composting from the deck. But they also suggest that if all the players agree at the table, you can do so out of the discard pile so you're not just burning blindly the cards out of the deck. Right, because of seemingly there's no cards that give you the ability to dig through the discard pile. Yeah, probably not. Right. I would think. Um, all right, so you did that, and I just took two soil, and right. now we do our compost abilities. Mm -hmm. And we'll do, again, we can do this simultaneously, but just to show you, uh, are you going to do your tableau first? So or this? I'm going to go ahead and do this where I'm getting to spend one from my compost pile to get two soil. So I'm going to go ahead and do that since I got a couple of freebies. Oh, and then two I'm going to take two soil. I got it. I got it. And so I did that. And then I've got a red ability over here. So I'm going to be ah. able to spend two growth if I wanted to get four more soil. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yes. So much richer. So you can see she's already using the growth as the currency because, you know, she's hoping to get that growth back. But now she's got a ton of soil. Spend it. Um, spend all right, it. so I have one red ability, the compost ability. I can spend one compost, which I will. Yeah. To get three plant cubes. Oh, no, that I'm doesn't... not going to do that. <laughs> Are you sure, that. David? I think I'm you should. Re I'm going to rewind that. Do. See, again, I, I kind of messed myself up by not planting a plant that could take plant cubes right away. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remedy that on my next turn, I think. I feel like somebody's going to be some planting next. Boop. I think... I may. I'm definitely not taking plant cubes. Come on, I'm not David. Watering, I think you should sure. totally water. Okay, I am going to plant. Okay. So I can place two cards. Let's yeah. see which ones I want to place. Ooh, which I've one got do... some soil I get a here. One. Uh, that one looks like it's pretty good. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to plant, and this, uh, since it's my second card, I have to place it adjacent to this one. So again, I could behave as though this is out in the middle. 
but I'm just going to keep it right here. And I'm going to place this in this column for, for reasons. It's going to cost me one soil. Uh, and then I get to play another one. I'm going to place this one in the same column for four. reasons. And that one also just cost me one soil. Now, this is great because I'm placing a bunch of plants out here, but they're not big point plants. I've got no. zero, one, and two points right now just from my plant cards. So I'm going to need to get my points elsewhere other than my cards. So I did my planting. And go then ahead and I, draw your four yeah, draw and then four. discard the one. And while you do that, you I'm going to go ahead and plant my one. And Ooh. then I also get to draw one. But I'm going to go ahead and plant first since I've got all the soil. Hmm. Oof. I think I'm going to go ahead and plant this bad boy. And I'm going to go ahead and put him also in a column. For reasons. For reasons. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant that guy. That's gonna cost me a whopping seven. Whoa. I know, one, oh, two, three, but four. He has, it has six plant cube spaces, which if you remember, is something she's looking for. Oh, totes, because of my ecosystem plus the bison, so. Yeah, for sure. Plus, like. it's the first card that we've played that has the multicolored ability. So yes. that one's gonna fire off whether we do a watering, a composting, or a growth, just right. not planting. And then we get to fire off our green ability. Oh, I need to draw a card still. Mm. Yes, we do get to fire off our green abilities, Boop. but Oops. I don't have one. Nap. Okay, I have some. I have one, actually. <laughs> just one. But Oh, you did play another wet one. I did. Oh I played another wet habitat, because mama needs. So I get plus two growth per wet habitat. No, so. no. Oh, yeah. That I played this oh, turn. Oh, that you played this turn. So I know. It would be sweet if it got to multiply, but it does not. But I did play one, so I do get two growth, which is quite nice for me because this has a spend your growth situation. So I'm going to go ahead and take my two Which one are you growth. putting on? Because that other one has a big five growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if we talked about this, but the... So here is how many pieces it uh, takes to complete the growth. And then if you do get that canopy, you get this added point. So these are the points that you get. Otherwise, you get a point per piece if you don't complete it with the canopy. But if I get three here, then I get a total of five points, a two-point bonus. Yeah, what's, what's the bottom one you just added? I'll put it up on screen called. So it is a rainbow eucalyptus. And its growth potential is the five that you see here. But it's a whopping nine points if I finish it. Exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop that there. Um, nice. Yeah. So that's, a, a, that's a really solid scoring card. Yeah, no if, kidding. Because if she maxes that card out, just so you know, it's nine points for the growth. Mm -hmm. It's, well, just one base point, but then six more points if she can get uh, all the plant spaces filled. I think Mama's going to do a lot of watering. Maybe, 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 for sure. Is that the end? That is the end that of the That is plant. the end of my planting. We're going to do one more turn or round, if you will, uh, Alicia, you can go, then I'll go. And then we're going to cut away after that and come back to show you sort of the game further in progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Mm. I finally got a card other than the... I've just been getting plants. I same And I finally got a non-plant. Well, I got a... I have a handful of plants, too. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, but I've I got, got one non-plant card, too, sir. So are you going to plant, compost, water, or grow? Mm, I think I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I will go ahead and water because I'm going to get six cubes plus two soil. So I'm going to take that, two soil, and then six cubes. I'm going to go ahead and make a pile real quick. One, two, three... I'm actually going to... Four, so five, I have the choice six. between two cubes and two soil. But if you remember, I have that one ability whenever I compost. I'm going to get three cubes. So I don't want to run out of space for cubes again. So I'm going to take the two soil because I can always use soil. It's always, sure. a, always a thing. Always a good thing. And then we fire off all of our Blue. watering abilities and any multicolored. I don't have either of those. I have a multicolor where I get to spend a soil to get two growth. Oh, so nice. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So once you get the tableau built, you're going to be doing a lot of the standard things that you can do with these standard actions through powers that you've put into your tableau. And that's really sort of the gist of the game is trying to most efficiently use not only just the basic powers or the basic actions, 
but also all the abilities that you're firing off to get done what you want to get done. Mm. All right, so we're done with watering, and now I think I am going to... I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do the yellow ability, which is... Growing. Growing. Uh, so this one lets me draw four cards. Mm -hmm, one, mm -hmm, two, mm -hmm. three, four. Oh, excellent. Um, you also get two oh, growth pieces. Man, oh, man. Uh, and I get two growth pieces. So I'm going to place those uh, right here on this bottom one. And it's just a two. So my black raspberries takes two uh, to get two. Um, and that's another two-point canopy for you. It is another two-point canopy for me. And then I'm, what are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and take the two growth pieces just oh. because I've got a handful of cards here. And seems like growth pieces are an economy that I'm going to be utilizing. So that's true. I'm going to go ahead. Not and a bad idea. Take care of that. So now that we've taken our action, we can fire off all of our yellow abilities. You don't have any, do you? Oh, you do have the multicolored one. I do. Oh man, that mul those multicolored ones are pretty nice because you can be able to do that as much as he wants. Exactly. Um, but I'll fire mine off first. So again, I have my base ability that gets me two cubes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I finally have a place Yay. to put them. I'm going to put them here on my Oleander. Um, then we look at the tableau. And since I've built in a column here, I fire off the top one, then the bottom, or the second, and then the next. Uh, my first one is plus one growth on each bush in this column. So I have bushes. Two of, two of them are filled out, though, unfortunately. So I do get a growth on this bush right okay. here. Uh, so that's done. And then we go down here, this yellow ability. Let's me draw a card. All right. So you want to draw a card. That's nice. I didn't have many draw card abilities in my yeah. game the other day. Um, and that was my turn. So you don't have any. Oh, you have that multicolor. I just multi have the multicolor, which lets me spend a soil to get two more growth, which I think I'm going to do because I get two canopies. So we've used, I think, all of the abilities. But if we didn't, you'll see them used in just a second. When we come back, we're going to play for a little bit longer. When we come back, you're going to see a lot more cards in our tableau. Uh, and then we'll wrap up the game and tell you about the entire experience. So we'll be right back. And just like that, we are back. Uh, we've played for a little bit, but not too much. We've been moving this game quite uh, quite quickly. Uh, as you can see here, we've got a lot more cards in our yeah. tableaus now. I've got all but three of my 16 cards, I've and you've got a little not, less. Yeah, I've been pushing forward on that too all much. All but five, because I've been doing a little bit more Six. of the planting here. Um, I've got a lot of cubes going on. Uh, you've got a lot of growth. Um, one other thing is Alicia's gotten all four of the fauna cards, which yeah. is pretty killer. You only killer. beat me on the column I, situation. Yeah, I got her to the two columns first, but I've got some catching up to do in that uh, respect. And this brings up one of those things in this game. I could plant two more times and finish the game, but do I lose if I do that? Yeah. So, you might want to draw it out. I want to try to get at least another one of those things accomplished because I'm giving up a 11 points. points per card, and I've only got two of them right now. So it's, you know, she's got nearly 60 points just in the fauna cards. But I've got some points over here, too, that maybe yeah, you yeah, don't yeah, know yeah, anything yeah. about that uh, I might surprise you with. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So we're going to take one round here. So Alicia's going to be the active player. Yep. I'm going to be the active player. We're going to thoroughly show you how all of that works in terms of firing off all of our cards. Then we'll wrap up and come back and uh, tell you what it's like. So what are you going to do on your turn? So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and water. Water. So we got a lot of blue abilities. I do have a fair amount of blue abilities. It's been kind of a jam. At least blue... has a lot of multicolored abilities too. True. Or th four of them. True. Which are so pretty killer. So I'm going to be able to take six cubes and two soil. So here's my two soil, and I'm going to take my six cubes. Guess it, getting six cubes in one, the, the, the big action on any of these actions is pretty significant. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on this one right here, my rainbow plant, which has got six cube slots, or plant slots. So I'm going to go ahead Man. and... So that's just six points. That's Period. just grabbing six points, and you've Period. got the two soil. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. go ahead and take two soil in that case because i need some soil i need to get some stuff planted do you i do i've, I've 
I'm holding off for now, but I do want to get some stuff planted. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So I did that. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run through all of the blue and rainbow abilities on all of my cards. Again, top to bottom, left to right. So this one's not that. My honey fungus allows me to uh, get plus one cube for each mushroom, uh, mushroom plant type in this column, which is only the one. So I go ahead and get a free cube, which is just oh. another plant. It's not bad. I mean, it'd be great if you had all four mushrooms in the no, column. But... I know. I didn't I didn't get a lot of those, so whatever. This one here is a rainbow ability, so I'm going to go ahead and I can spend a cube to get a soil. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and spend that to go ahead and get a soil. And then I get to spend a soil to get a card. Hmm. Do I need a card? You know, early on, that's pretty good, but later in the game, like, it depends on what you have in your hand, obviously. Right, and I don't have uh, a lot of ways to compost a bunch, which mm. I wish I did, because I would get rid of a ton of what's in my hand. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and skip that, because I really don't need to do that. I'd rather have the soil. So I'm not going to trigger my rainbow plant ability. And then I'm going to move on to my rainbow eucalyptus, which allows me to spend a soil to get to growth. Do I have any room oh, for growth? Oh, you're tapped out on growth. I am. I am tapped out on growth. So I'm going to go ahead and not do that, obviously. I can again spend another cube to get a card, which I don't want. And then I can get a plus one cube for each bush. In that column. In this column, which I've got one, two. So I get to have... Oh. Two more where I get one here. Not bad. And one here. So if I had the room for the growth, it would have been a pretty sweet turn. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Uh, yeah, this is one of the tricky things is sort of balancing out and pacing all of the different things to sort of orchestrate them going up and down. Because once you've got all the growth, or like I had earlier when I didn't have any space for plant cubes, it gets tricky. So I'm going to fire off all my blues now. Um, I took the two soil. Yep. So my blues, I don't have any of my player board. And then starting here, I'm gonna go across, uh, first thing is my chives, which is a multicolor. I can get rid of a compost card, which I'm going to do. Mm. Well, you've got a whole stack there. And get rid of a uh, growth piece. Okay. To get a cube. And which two I'll soil? Put right here. Mm. And two soil. I need, I want some soil for sure. Apparently. Uh, then I'll come down here. Uh, I've got uh, gets me a cube. Uh, this rainbow is to spend a soil on this Chinese peony. Spend a soil in the cube to get growth and a card. Again, I don't. I'm gonna skip that one, um, and then go to this one. Plus one cube for each of that type of plant, which is herb. our herb uh, in this column, which is just this one. Um, so. That's Might as well take your point. My last cube there. Um, this one is one cube, just straight up. Do I have space for it? I do. Uh, up here. And down and here. There. Okay. Um, and compost one from my hand. I'll do that easily. Boom. And no more blues. And then this one is to get rid of a growth for three cubes. Ooh, I only have place for two, and I don't want to get rid of the growth. So I am not going to do that. So I've run through all my blues, and that was my mistletoe, by the way. Um, and now it's my turn, right? Correct. All right. I am going to grow. Uh, am I going to grow? Let's see how many saw it. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, I'm going to grow. Mm. I'm going to grow. Uh, I get four cards. One, two, three, four. Added to my hand. And two growth. So I'm going to put this growth back here. Here, do I want that there? No, it's gonna get one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put this growth here. I get two, right? Correct. Um, and I'll put this one. Either one of those will get here. finished off. Would you just finish off? I didn't. Oh, you didn't finish it. I didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, I did finish that yep. off. Your uh, oleander. So I'm, I'm not gonna do that one for for reasons. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to do this one here instead. All right. So that's the natural ability. Um, what are you, you're taking two cards? Or yeah, two I'm going to take two cards because oh. I've got no room for gross. I'm all maxed out. And then I'll run through my yellows and my multicolors and then Alicia will. So my first one is to get two cubes. I'm probably going to tap out on the cubes here because that is all the space I got right now. 
Um, and then my next one on my dahlias is one growth for each bush in this column. So they're all bushes. I'm going to oh. put one there and one here. That's the reason. Yeah, that was the reasons. This one here is cool. This is the yellow sprouts. And this one, it counts as all like four different plant types, but its yellow ability is to copy one yellow ability from your tableau may change each use. So I'm going to use it and copy the um, what I just did, plus one growth on each bush in this column. These two are both bushes because this is, counts as everything. So I'm going to add the canopy there and another growth there. Nice. This one, uh, I am going to do this. So I get rid of a growth. Uh, mm, mm, mm -hmm. Do I want to get rid of a growth? Growth in a compost. Yeah, it's 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 to get a cube, which I don't have room for, and two soil, which I can... no, I'm gonna skip that one. <laughs> so sorry, chives, you're you're not in action right now. This one is just draw a card, and that's my oleander, and then my Chinese peony. I'm going to skip that one. Again. Really? Yeah, because I don't want get a growth. Uh... I'm gonna talk him into it. Uh... I mean... You did talk me into it. <laughs> <laughs> you did talk me. Oh, but I have to get rid of a soil. Oh, you're fine. I'm gonna get rid of a soil and a cube. Where was the thing? Where was the cube that? I'm just gonna get rid of this cube. Um, and that gives me a growth. I'm gonna go ahead and canopy the Chinese peony. Right. I mean, because that's two points um, for you. And get another card. Like, why wouldn't you? Uh, then my next yellow is here which is extra growth on every herb in this column. Uh, so this itself is an herb. Mm -hmm. So it's going to get one. Yep. And this is an herb, and it's going to get one back. So another two points for you. Not bad. Come on. Not bad. Yeah. And then my final yet last yellow one is to spend a soil, which I'm going to do, uh -huh. to compost three out of my <gasps> hand. Oh, God, I really need those types so of cards. So I'm going to get rid of this and this and this so that's three more points i i have done all right on the compost pile yeah I have, I, have, <laughs> I have not a little bit more of a compost pile so that is all my growth and now you can run your growth all right so mine is i can spend a cube to get a soil i think i well that's an interesting just straight up yeah that's a good currency for me then I can spend that to get another card. I can spend, nah. I'm sorry. I used the Chinese, I can't even read these. Uh, I can't see it. Chinese wisteria. That's the one that allowed me to do the uh, cube to soil. And now you have that. Then I have is... the rainbow plant, which lets me spend a soil to get a card. Nah. Don't really want to do that. I can spend a soil nah. on my rainbow eucalyptus to get a couple of growth, which I don't have room for. I can spend a cube to get another card with my New Zealand flax. Also, don't want to do that. So... This is a whole lot of nothing for yeah, me. Yeah, early game, these are things that we were using quite a bit. Yeah. But at this point, you've kind of tapped it out, so you need to pivot and try to use some different powers. I need to plant. I need to get some more stuff You out do need to get some so more things planted. So that I can planted. get more growth going. So as soon as one of us plants our 16th uh, card in our tableau, that will trigger the end of the game. We're going to do that right now. Play probably, it's probably going to be about two or three more rounds, I think. Mm. Uh, and then we'll come back and tell you about the whole experience and see who won. Because I don't know who it's going to be, but yeah, I don't think it's, it's going to be me. Yeah, it's up in the air, honestly. Yeah, we'll see. Well, we'll be right back. And we are back. Uh, we finished things in pretty short order. We did take, what, about three more rounds? Yeah, just as you said. About three more rounds. I have to be honest with you. I thought I had this thing in the bag. And if you can't tell by that statement right there. He did not, because I won. won. Alicia won. Our scores were 256 with me, which is by far significantly more points it's than our first game. It's a lot more than our first game. Uh, 256 to... 284. 284. And I genuinely... It was, it's hard because there's so many things. And we're going to go through how all those points added up So because you'll see some of the different areas where yeah. we scored. But there's a lot of them. And it is difficult to look around and think... Keep track of where everyone has on their point situation because you're getting them from so many different areas. I'd already pointed out that she had so many points from the fauna, but 
You were I able was, to pull out and get all of those too. Yeah, I was able to you get those. You actually got more up there. Well, not more points, but more things accomplished up there than I did. Well, because I got the seven cards. I right. did get seven points for being the person who finished the tableau. But sure. that seven wasn't enough uh, to win the day. Um, but I did have a finished tableau. So this is my 16 cards that I had. Mm -hmm. I had them all filled in with plant cubes. Um, I had almost all the canopies possible except for my chives, which I was kind of like moving on and off throughout the game. Unfortunately, I, I finished with it off. Uh, but that would have just been three more points, so it wouldn't have made the big difference. Yeah. Uh, and you had all but three of your cards, right? Right. And so, the spoiler alert, the big point differential here was on her growth. Yes. I had a bunch of canopies, but they were on these little bitty plants. <laughs> Uh, that didn't grow very tall. I had an incentive to yeah. grow large stacks. So that's where I concentrated my efforts. Yeah, so here's how it came down. Yeah. On base points, and these are just the points on uh, the base points on all of our cards. Your and the island, cards. your climate, and your tableau. Uh, I had 36, she had 34. Off to a good start, right? Sure. Well, then just wait. Uh, <laughs> event cards, uh, we both only played, did you just one. play the one? We only yeah. played one event and it was zero points. Right. These are, I feel in a couple of plays that we did that these are kind of uneventful. Like these don't come out very often and the game that we played before, I had a negative uh, one for the one that I actually played, but these don't come out too terribly often. No, there's the, the event cards are probably the fewest in the deck, or, or they may be equal to the terrain, but we didn't see a lot of event. Of course, there's two giant, giant stacks, stacks still left right. here. Um, but in terms of eventful, I would disagree in terms of the ability because she was able to convert basically two growth points, which she was able to get Had right back. in abundance, yeah. And uh, compost cards right off the discarder deck. And it was good compost. for me because, I mean, I had a whole handful of cards that I couldn't compost. Yeah, I had quite a few more compost. So we'll move on to compost. Yeah. She ended up having 16 in compost to my 27. Things were looking up. I was like, okay, I might actually win this thing. <laughs> then plant cubes. I had 45. I had every plant cube I could possibly have. Did you have them all filled up? No, I had some empty spaces. I Just had a, a couple. three, four empty spaces. So I had 48 to But his yeah, she did have 45. more than me, 48 to 45. And then on growth, which is where she killed me. Mm -hmm. My growth, uh, which ended up being 27 yeah. to her. 57. 57, because she had. I had a, I'd finished all of them, and so it was But they like were four. tall. Yep, so I have a four, a seven, a six, a five, a five, a four, a nine, a five, a seven, and a three. Yeah, so you heard all those sevens and nines and sixes. Yeah. I had one five, but then I had three, three, four, two, two, four, one, one, a lot of low points, so right. that's where she, she got 30 more points than I did. And then terrain was interesting. You only had one terrain card, but... This was the incentive that I had to have things grow large because I got five points per plant with four growth pieces. Yeah, four so or more. So that's why I had the incentive to go large with the growth pieces because I wanted to have that. And that gave me another 35 points. Yeah, 35 points. Now, that was great. But I had, I had three terrain cards, one of which was an ongoing ability, uh, but two of which were final scoring. I got... Uh, 40 points total, 22 from, I think it was my mountain range, potentially. Uh, I had to have continuous cards orthogonally in a, in a line, but didn't have to be straight, so I snaked it up this way for 2, 4, 6, I... 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 points. 16? Because you no. gave yourself 18. 18. Yeah. Well, I know it was this one, too. Okay. 18. So 18, then plus 8 points for my rainforest, which was 2 uh, points for every plant card that had at least two cubes on it, which I had quite 11. a few. 11, so you had, yeah, your 18 was your trail, and then the 22 ah, was the right. two part. 11. Yeah. Then to Fauna, which we already talked about, we both got all of them, but she got a little bit more. She got 56 to my 48 up there. Right. And then the ecosystem cards, which are these two cards, plus our personal ones. Mm -hmm. I ended up scoring a total of 26 on the ecosystem. You scored 38, so you beat me 30. pretty handily there, too. Right, because I was able to get six points for ones that, for every two plants that had six or more cubes, and so I had double incentive to do that with the fauna for the bison. And that got you 18 points, this. right? Right, because I had six of them. Yeah, 18 points, and then your other ecosystem card got you 20 because she ended up having... 
12. more than 10, but she maxed out 20 points for the leftover soil. I only oh, yeah. got eight points from that, uh, but I did get two points per canopy, which again, wasn't too much, but she yeah. got me there. And then finally, I got these seven points, totaling 256 to 284. Um, I will say this, we've played this twice now. Yeah. And the first game we played uh, earlier this weekend was 192. 192 to 198. To 198. Again, off camera. I went off camera. <laughs> uh, 192 to 198, but we did a lot better. And in fact, you did significantly better because I think you had more cards in your tableau by the end of that game. Yeah, yeah. So, so you were able to get more I with had fewer all cards. but one. You had ended the last game, yeah. and I had all but one. But where I learned my lesson was not having all, all the cubes. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, I could have had so many more points because I had a ton of cards that had the six slots. Um, but they were empty. Right, they were game. empty. And so being and that was a so, learning game. Yeah, 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 for sure. And it was definitely a lesson learned for me. So I wanted to make sure that I maxed out on the cube situation because that was just a ton of points that I just left. Yeah, this thing has a lot of satisfying turns. Yeah. I mean... The first of all, there's no, there's very little downtime right. because when anyone's at choosing an action, everyone's doing a little something, and then everyone is firing off all of their abilities. Which uh, another big difference between our first game and this game is we had a lot more of those multicolor abilities. Uh, I don't know, you had a couple your first game, but you had what one, I have two, four. three, four there, mm -hmm. and I have one, two, three. I had also four. So those things are firing off whether you water, grow, or compost. Right. So they go a lot. And they are very situational and very time sensitive because some of these are great, as you saw on camera during when we came back. Some of them were better for the early game. Yeah. And then they kind of peter out a little towards the end of the game and vice versa. I had cards in my hand towards the end of the game that probably wouldn't have been great cards to play. Yeah. Um, but again, just like many games, like a Terraforming Mars or something, you're going to find cards in your hand early or late that may not be perfect for your situation right there. Right. Uh, but you can cycle through. I mean, a big part of this game is digging into these decks, getting them into your hand, always having the ability to potentially compost some of them. And speaking of which, my big compost situation oh, here was due to this one card at the end of my tableau, which was the Red Cage Fungus. I could spend one soil, and this is a multicolor ability, to compost three cards out of my hand. So because I was using the yellow yellow ability so much, I was drawing a lot of cards, so I always had a lot of cards in my hand, and I just dumped three points uh, with Every just time. that one card, which was pretty nice. Now, I was it spending would. soil, which I never liked doing. Um, but yeah, it wasn't enough either way because Alicia won 284 to 256. So if you have any questions about the game, we'll fill in the blanks that you didn't see. If you have questions about how the game plays, please make them in the comments below, and I'll try to jump in there and answer whatever I can. Until next time, though, make sure everyone has fun at the table, and we'll see you then. Congratulations, you got to the end of one of our videos. Now, if you want more practice, just click on the video over here. It's another video. You might not have seen it yet, so click on it. If you don't want to do that, at least click on the subscription button below. That always helps us. And if you want notifications, please ring that bell.